My Siamese cat was diagnosed with feline diabetes in January 2021. She was almost 10 years old at the time. Her symptoms started with overeating and drinking, pooping outside the litter box and finally the most telltale sign that something was wrong was when I noticed her walking on dropped hawks, a condition called neuropathy. She couldn't walk more than 10 feet without stopping for a break and couldn't jump anymore to sleep on the bed as she used to. Here are videos of her walking with dropped hawks from 2021. The vet did some testing and confirmed the diabetes. Before her diagnosis, my cat was eating mostly a dry food diet. The first thing we tried was switching her to a 100% wet food diet. The vet prescribed Royal Canin Glycobalance, a veterinary diet canned food for diabetic cats. After one month we repeated the fructosamine test a blood test that measures the average blood glucose level over two to three weeks prior to when the test is. Unfortunately, just switching to 100% canned food was not enough in her case, so the vet put her on PZI insulin shots, two shots a day. It was a nightmare giving her shots, she would hiss and try to bite me so I started giving her the shots shortly after she would start eating as she was distracted by the food. At the same time we started the insulin treatment, the vet recommended Dasequin Pro, a supplement for joint support and arthritis, to try and improve the walking with dropped hawks. I also came across another product on Amazon called Zobaline, which is a vitamin B12 supplement that supports memory and nerves. I started her with two pills a day of Zobaline and would mix it in her wet food. A couple of months into the therapy I started noticing small improvements in her walking, so I continued with all the previously mentioned products. We kept repeating the fructosamine tests every three months and six months after starting her on insulin therapy the vet gave me the news that my cat might be going into remission. I was so happy that she was getting better and could stop giving her the shots. I took her back to the vet for a checkup a month after stopping the insulin and the fructosamine test confirmed she was good to continue without any more insulin. Meanwhile, her legs had also gotten better, so I reduced the Zobaline to one pill a day and continued with the prescribed canned food and dasequin. A year after her first diagnosis I stopped giving her the Zobaline and dasequin as her legs and jumping went back to normal. I still continue today with the Glycobalance canned food diet only. Now she just turned 12 years old and as you can see plays, jumps and walks normally. All of the vet testing, insulin therapy, Prescription canned food and supplements turned out to be quite pricey, but I am very grateful that I was able to do it and it turned out well for her. Looking back, I feel that feeding her mostly a dry food diet for many years might have contributed to her developing diabetes, but I can't say that with certainty. This was just my experience and every case is different but I wanted to share it with you in case it might be of any help. I will provide links in description for the products I used. I'm not affiliated with these brands or make any commissions from these links. Thank you for watching the video and I wish you the best with you cat.